Today we're gonna dive into the topic of sifting pellets. Should you do it? Why should you do it? And I'm gonna do a little demonstration to see what the results are and if it's worth it or not. So for the demonstration, I've got a bag of Pit Boss pellets here. This is a 20 pound bag. I went out and I bought one of these mesh sifters. I'll put a link to this below. And then I also went out and I bought this Traeger uh, lid. So this goes on top of your bucket. It's got a nice opening there that you can dump pellets out in. And then this goes at the very bottom of the bucket. Once you pour your pellets in, all of that dust, or what's technically called fines, goes down through this and sits on the bottom. And if you've ever noticed, when you're dumping a bag into your hopper, you see all that dust flying all over the place. That's basically what they refer to as fines, but fines could be anything that's not a whole pellet. And while I've had no problems since I've had my pit boss, a lot of people have had their augers bind up. And one of the things that can happen is those fines get down into the auger and the auger can't push them out because they're too small. They just kind of sit on the bottom and build up, introduce some moist air. And next thing you know, that stuff turns into like a cement and it binds the auger. It can cause other problems as far as combustion, fluctuations in the temperature. And if you get into a lot of the forums on the internet, on pellet smokers and pellet heaters, I have both. People swear by sifting them first, just as a preventative maintenance kind of thing. So I'm curious, let's pour this bag through the sifter into a bucket and let's see what we get. All right, I'm gonna use one of my Cleveland Browns buckets. You know you're getting old when you start filling these up with pellets. I used to fill them up with ice and sodas. So let's get that right there. We'll put our sifter right on top. It's meant to go right on top of a bucket. It'll fit right on top easily. One point on this sifter, this is only gonna work with pit boss pellets and pellets that are of similar size. If you buy lumberjack pellets, they're a smaller diameter and the whole pellet will fit through this. And so you'd need a smaller mesh screen if you wanted to try this. All right, so here we go. Let's pour them in. You can already see all that dust and fines flying around. It's about a quarter of the bag and I'm just gonna Shake it, get my hand down in here. Just kind of use my hand to push it around. That's pretty good, so I'll dump this in my other bucket. We'll go on to the rest of the bag. I'll put a handful of this stuff out on the table in a second, but that's a lot of little finds. I'm gonna get this bucket out of the way. Then I'll take this one. We'll put this little Traeger strainer at the bottom. And now any dust that's left, it will just fall to the bottom over time as it sits in here. So we'll just dump this in. Put our lid on. Okay, so right off the bat, this lid does not fit on the bucket. I'm not sure if it's because it's cold outside or what. So that's kind of a bummer. Could be user error. So I'll have to look it up. But anyways, let's go check out the finds that we got out of that sifter. Okay, I'm just gonna dump them out onto the table. So if you look, a lot of that sawdust we are talking about, but look at all these tiny little broken out pieces of pellets. And this is exactly what I was talking about. 
the small pieces that might not make it through the auger and sit on the bottom. And so after seeing this, this is out of a 120 pound bag and I probably could have done a better job, but I just want to get an idea. That's a lot, little pieces of stick. And so what happens with those is they all kind of settle down into the bottom. And if you've ever looked into the back of your hopper, you'll notice that it feeds from the top down. And to kind of help illustrate that, I just drew up this little sketch here. So that's your hopper. You can see the auger at the bottom, then all those little dots are the pellets. And it feeds through that center. They call it a rat hole, actually, or tunneling. So everything from the top goes down to the center through the auger. And then you'll notice the lower you get on pellets, they kind of get caught up on the edges. And that's where all that stuff starts to build up over time. And that's why they recommend you always empty out your hopper after each cook. And I think that's where the, the moist air, the humidity is causing people problems. So like I said, I haven't had any problems yet, but for the $20 or whatever that sifter is, um, I'm glad I got it and I am gonna start sifting my pellets. I know a lot of people have already done it. So hey, I hope that helps you guys out. I know a lot of you have asked me about it. So I just wanted to put together this short video. If you guys wanna see how I empty out my hopper, check out this video right there or you can check out this smoked turkey I just did. It was unbelievable. And I'll see you over there.